Hello, welcome everyone. This is Super Eevee Master, and this time I am uh, bringing you not the normal everyday video that I uh, upload to uh, this channel, but I actually hope I can do this more in the future, just, just simply because I would like to add more videos to sort of, I, I guess you could call it my, my YouTube schedule, and also just simply like you know like add things uh, in my life to sort of like spice it up. And this, in these types of videos, they're simply going to be like, uh, like reactions to whatever news stories, most of the time, or, 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 or they will, all, or they will always be like NASCAR stories because I am uh, a big NASCAR fan. Um, and thing is, this story, um, it, it's about probably one of the biggest stories of the season, and, and I think definitely the biggest story, uh, um, uh, this week in NASCAR, which, which this week. Uh, the most recent NASCAR race was the 2015 Sylvania 300 at New Hampshire, and the upcoming race is the 2015 Triple A 400 at Dover. Uh, like I said, the biggest story. And what is that story? You might ask. Well, well, well in case you have not heard, or, or in case, you, or in case you have, for some reason, not read the title, Tony Stewart after after 2016 will uh, will, will he will stop racing full time or, or completely. From the Spring Cup series after after 2016, and this story, in my in my opinion, um, when I heard it, I was not I, I was not really like surprised, um, and, and and I'm sure many fans would say the same thing, and, and I'm sure some fans might say overdue, and maybe and, may, and maybe some other like not like that nice of things, but overall, simply. It's going to be strange, or at least, or, or at least for me, to watch a NASCAR race in the future, and Tony Stewart is not behind the wheel because thing, oh, because thing is whether, because thing is whether Tony Stewart is running good or, 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 or whether Tony Stewart is, is sort of in a slump like he's been the past few seasons. Tony Stewart, I think, is definitely an important figure to NASCAR. Uh, um, I think, I think him and Jeff Gordon, who also. Who, who back in January said that this season is going to be his final full-time season. Like, the, like those two drivers, I think, played a big role in NASCAR's growth uh, um, and, and expansion in the late 90s and early 2000s. Because to me, because to me, I'm sure, like, uh, if you were someone who maybe was around in, in 2000 and heard about NASCAR, uh, you probably heard about, you probably heard about, like, you probably m might have, like, heard something that said, like, superstar Jeff Gordon. Or champion Jeff Gordon, and, and and you know, and like rising star Tony Stewart, you know, maybe you know, I, I'm 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 sure I'm sure those were headlines during the time of NASCAR, during the time of NASCAR, and now looking back on his career as it is being uploaded, Tony Stewart, he's definitely had a remarkable career, and if you don't believe me, listen to this: three champions, 02, 05, 2011. He's actually the only driver as of right now. To, to, to have won a championship before the chase and during the chase. He's also the only driver to, to have won championships um, back when NASCAR was called was called the Wizarding Cup Series, the Nextel Cup Series, and the Spring Cup Series, I believe. Yes. But, but, but other than his championships, 48 wins, 48 wins, which I believe ties him for like 13th all-time, I, I might be wrong, 182 top fives, 299, yeah, 299 top tens, uh, 15 poles and 12,783 laps led. So yeah, definitely in my opinion, uh, future Hall of Famer right there. Also, when when you look at him in the other two divisions, and he's actually one of I, I want to say like 20 or or 30 something drivers to to have actually won in all three series. Uh, 11 wins in the Xfinity series. In, in fact, in fact, uh, in fact. For a while there, I, I think I think it was from like 2005 to, to 2013, um, he won all but like one or, or two uh, like Daytona races in, in February. Yeah, so that was definitely uh, one, one, one impressive streak. Um, 11 wins in the Xfinity Series, two wins in the Campbell Truck Series. Um, but but also his success goes far beyond NASCAR in the IndyCar Series. 1997 champion, three wins, and was actually on the pole for the 1996 Indianapolis 500. Uh, he's also one of the four drivers, I believe, to, to have competed in, in the double, 99 in 01, and is actually the only driver to, to compete all 1,100 miles. He did that in 2001. 
and thing and thing is I'm sure like racingreference.com is definitely a great site to find all of to find all of this information and I'm actually and that, and actually that's where I'm actually reading all of these stats uh, and I and, and I'm sure and I'm sure that you know if you, if you research more, more about Tony Stewart you're definitely going to find more, more about his success. Um, so yeah, so possibly, so, so, I, so I might even go out. To, so I might even go out to say I Tony Stewart is maybe one is maybe one of the best drivers uh, across across like several forms of racing, not just NASCAR. Um, and, and, and to me, I'm sure that in the future, you know, maybe like 10, 20 years from now, I think we'll definitely be looking at Tony Stewart as one of the greatest uh, like drivers like ever. I, I, I think I think that could happen, um, and, 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 and because of that, uh, and, and because of that, I think it's definitely like going to be like sad. I'm sure. I, I'm sure when that day comes, Homestead 2016. Um, I, I, I think it's definitely uh, go, going to be sad, sad for uh, many of us. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm kind of I'm kind of having a hard time figuring out what I'm gonna say. Well, I guess like oh okay fine yeah yeah I guess I should get into this. So the thing is, why is Tony Stewart making this decision? Well, the thing is, Tony Stewart said that I think Tony Stewart just simply like I think he said this in his press in his press conference. Uh, I, 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 let me let me reward that in in in, in a Stuart Haas racing press conference uh, two days ago on Wednesday, uh, which actually I actually wanted to upload this video on on that day, but I was a bit busy. But anyway, I think simply like you know like Tony Stewart, it's not that like racing. I don't, I don't, I don't think that it's like I don't think that it's like Tony Stewart doesn't like love NASCAR anymore. I, I just think I like Tony Stewart. He wants to uh, start a new chapter. In, in, in his life, uh, when when asked about some of the recent things that have happened in the past couple of years, breaking his leg in, in 2013, or or being involved in that tragedy with Kevin Ward Jr., uh, he said that those two decisions did not influence this this decision at all. In fact, in, in fact, he's had made people try to talk him out of this uh, of this decision. Uh, and so because of that, and so because of that. I'm going to believe that, um, and just, and just overall, and the thing is, like, um, I said, I said, I said this breakup series into me, uh, that's what he said, too, it's, it's just gonna be this breakup series, as of right now, he has not, like, he, he, he has not said, like, anything about, like, uh, Xfinity or Truck Series, uh, he, he could, he could, he could, he could he could run in those series, and in fact, in fact, I think he even maybe talked about uh, in that in that press conference uh, say, saying that uh, he might want to run a truck race at at, at Eldora, which which Tony Stewart he he lo he loves racing on dirt, and he actually owns Eldora Speedway, I believe. And and, and actually, uh, that sort of actually leads to another thing about that Tony Stewart. He's also done a lot a lot. For the sport, other than being a, other than being a great driver, uh, I'm 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 sure that I'm I'm sure that some of the drivers today in NASCAR, Rising Stars, etc., have definitely looked at look, have definitely looked at to Tony Stewart and saw him as sort of like their hero. Um, and the thing is, and the thing is, I think he's also done a whole lot outside NASCAR. Uh, I don't know if I can come up with anything, with anything, with anything like specific, but but, but I'm sure. But I'm sure he's done something, uh, and, and I had, and I believe I have like read r reports about what Tony Stewart has sort of like gave back, etc. Uh, so yeah, so like I said before, Tony Stewart, Tony Stewart, like him as a person and in, in, in his career goes far beyond like NASCAR, etc. And the thing is, how will Tony Stewart's departure from from NASCAR's pickup series full time, uh, how will this impact the sport? Well, the thing is, like, it, it's part of life. Uh, there, there have there have been many drivers since ever since ever since NASCAR began. 
there have been many drivers, successful or not successful, that that raced, and eventually, and eventually at some point it all simply it all simply had to come to an end. Um, whether 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 it was their choice, whether whether it was because of a career-ending crash, whether whether it was because of a, of a whether it was because of a fatality, you know, it's simply like drivers ha- have come and, and, and gone. Um, no, notable names: Richard Petty, Dale Earnhardt, uh, Kale Yarbrough, Bobby Allison, Bill Elliott, uh, Ricky Rudd, Dale Jarrett. The, the list goes on and on. But to me, like. Uh, during 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 those days, for most of the drivers that I mentioned, NASCAR either either stayed uh, was was either flat or, or growing when it comes to their fan base. This these days, however, it's not that case. Um, it it's there have been numerous reports, and, and I'm sure that you could easily find this, or or, or just or just simply or, or just simply not even like have to like exa- exactly like check this up yourself. Attendance and ratings have really, fine. Maybe not attendance exactly, but ratings have been down from have been down ever since 2005. Which kind of interestingly, that was that was that was that was the year when Tony Stewart won his second career championship. So the thing is, because of that, and with drivers like Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart leaving, it is is this going to hurt NASCAR in a long time? I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen really anything from Tony Stewart fans yet, but I definitely have seen. Uh, many posts saying like many posts or what the person typed things like once Jeff Gordon leaves, so am I. So so to me, and, and because I think many, many people are going to uh, stand by that and, and probably not change anything, uh, will this hurt NASCAR even more? Time will tell. Uh, and, and thing is to me like with uh. With two of the sport's greatest champions coming in, um, NASCAR is obviously going going to need some new stars, and maybe just and maybe just some like like newer faces up front. And the thing is, uh, there are some some drivers like young talent stars like Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney, uh, Eric Jones, and and the list could go on and on. That are definitely that I think that I think definitely do have the the, the potential to, to go to go to go above and beyond when, once they get once they get to the Cup Series. Chase Elliott, for example, is going to be running full time, uh, starting next season, driving, driving in, driving in the twenty four. But the thing, but the thing is, the thing about that though is, is to me like you know, you're not going to replace Jeff Gordon. You're not going to replace Tony Stewart, regardless, regardless, uh, regardless of your name, regardless of uh, the number you drive in, you know, etc. And, and the and the thing is, like, and the thing is, like, you know, like, what's gonna happen is that to me, like, you know, like, like, like the sport is probably still going to be dominated for for the next several years by by, by veterans, like, by by veterans such as Logano and Kyle Busch, Kozlowski. So, so, so the thing is, like, so the thing is, like, you know, like, like, you know, you know, like, like I said, is is it gonna hurt NASCAR? Time will, um, uh, tell. Uh, and, and, and I think also with with these two with, with these two drivers' careers coming to an end, what what does it what does it say for other drivers that are also uh, competing in, in this breakup series? Because the thing is, we have drivers like Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jimmy Johnson, uh, Matt Kenseth, uh, who are who are all actually currently in their forties. And the thing is, like it seems like the, what's happening is to me like 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 the days of drivers like Mark Martin. Uh, racing and, and, being, and being competitive all, all, all the way into the fifties. It seems like those days are officially over. So to me, it would not be surprising if, if, if in a few years, uh, drivers like the three I mentioned do leave do do leave the sport. Um, and to me, and to me, with Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart announcing their, their retirements, that that might. You know, it might just so be like you know, you know, it might start, you know, it might start something. You know, I, I sort of think that like 2015 is sort of like another like era and a good way and and sort and sort of a phrase to describe this era is out with the old and in with the new. Um, 
and, and and like I said, I mentioned I mentioned some of the like younger star stars in Clitera. But, but just overall, I guess like maybe I, I can get into, into some some like uh like final like notes and maybe anything else I can think of uh, quickly. Uh, simply as a fan, I have been pretty neutral on, on Tony Stewart, but to me, I definitely wish him the best for the uh for the for the remainder of his starts. And to me, I think one thing that I think would, would just simply be amazing to see is that next season he he can go out and finally win the uh, Daytona 500, one of the biggest events uh, Tony Stewart has yet to win at. Uh, um, he, al- he also has not won a Southern 500. He's also, he also has never won a Southern, a Southern 500, so he might possibly, uh, um, like, so, so who knows, maybe, like, I, I think it'll just, I think it'll just simply depend on whether Tony Stewart can maybe get back, um, can maybe get can maybe get back on, on, on the right track and, and who knows maybe this like who knows maybe this announcement maybe it maybe it has like lift something maybe it will like lift something off off, off of like his shoulders and actually I think that uh in in the clips that I saw of Tony Stewart speaking I, I think Tony Stewart de- definitely looked look, looked a little bit more like determined I I think that that's what I that's what I saw and heard so so who knows. Uh, but, but like I said, I wish him the best, and, and hopefully, and hopefully by the time Homestead in 2016 rolls around, uh, Tony, Tony Stewart, I don't know if Tony Stewart is going to, to be like, like championship, like, like I don't know, I don't know if championship Tony Stewart is going to be like championship like like competitive. But to me, but to me, I hope that like Tony Stewart can definitely go out being. Uh, pretty competitive. Go, go out, go out on top of of your game, as, as some say. Uh, in other, uh, in other than that, like I think, like when I think that I think I think that when I do the race review for the for the for the upcoming Dover race this weekend or Monday or Tuesday, whenever the race gets finished, I think I might talk. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, for example, such as Tony Stewart's replacement. But but other than that, I think that's simply all I have to say. Thank you, th- th- thank you, Tony Stewart. Uh, th- th- thank, you, thank you, thank you, Tony Stewart. Uh, uh, it, it was definitely, uh, it was definitely a great run. Uh, and thank you for what you have done to the sport. Uh, uh, sport, but but just simply, well, but, but just simply, not just for the sport, but for others, you are definitely going, um, you are definitely going to be, uh, remembered and talked about as a as a great driver, and so on. And now, um, and now that's pretty much it. This is Super Icky Master. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and bye.